Oh, hi there. Welcome to another episode of the Okanagan Gardener and Forager Channel. If you're hanging out near the ocean and looking for a little snack, there's a plant that lives in all kinds of inhospitable locations that might just do the trick. Seaside Plantain. Seaside plantain, the scientific name is Plantago maritima, and it's also known as goose tongue. And it looks, for all practical purposes, uh, quite similar to narrow leaf plantain or ribwort plantain, except the leaves are much more like succulent. And uh, hopefully, you can hear this. When you break them, they make a snapping sound. And in my opinion, they taste uh, very similar to narrow leaf plantain or even common plantain. With maybe a slight salty taste. Still has that, I don't know, if you've chewed on plantain, I have many times for putting on wounds and stuff. And maybe just to have a little nibble. Tastes similar to me. A little less bitter, tastes better. Uh, and a little salty. Here is the flowering stalk up close. I think they look pretty cool, the little flowers sticking off. They kind of look like, I think, maybe like a satellite orbiting a planet or something like that. And if you look at the leaves, they have, like all plantains, they have parallel veins running down them. Three to five. You can see these. this one. I'll show some others where you can see them. This one's, you know, living in the rock, so it's struggling a little bit. But you can see, hopefully, the parallel veins running down them. The identif characteristic of plantains. And they are edible. The leaves and the flowers, seeds, are all edible. Not bad, raw, I think. They taste, you know, like I said, a little salty. Pretty good, I guess, as far as plantains go. Better than other plantains. But cooked lightly, maybe in you know, some oil or butter or something like that. Not bad, I haven't tried it myself, but if they taste this good raw, I would imagine they taste even better cooked. You can find seaside plantain or goosefoot on the coasts of North America, South America, and Eurasia, and uh, they have some medicinal uses that I could find. One would be that uh, the mucilaginous property can help with, say, constipation, like the seeds, similar to other plantains as I've learned. Uh, they have a mucilaginous property, so if you have them with a lot of water, then it's thought they can help uh, to relieve diarrhea. And I wasn't able to find uh, anything about it myself. I'm always keen to find plantain because I like it for uh, use on bug bites and stings and all that other sort of stuff. So I'm not sure that you can use plantain, this seaside plantain for that. But if anybody else knows, then please add it in the comments and let me know. Okay, here I've got three different species of plantain side by side. There's the common plantain, Plantago major, seaside plantain, Plantago maritima, or goose tongue, and narrow leaf plantain, or ribboard plantain, Plantago lanceolata. And as you can see the common sort of traits, hopefully you can see the, uh, the veins running parallel down the leaf. Here a little harder to see, but I think you can see it. The lines. And at the end, the little veins sticking out. If I could get it there. See the little veins sticking out where I broke it? And this is the narrow leaf. And just for comparison, here's a narrow leaf plantain with very similar looking leaves, although much less succulent. And also very similar looking flowers. And here's the broadleaf or common plantain. This one's been a bit chewed up by a lawnmower, but you can see the leaves. And they're kind of leathery, but also not succulent. Like the seaside plantain. And the flowering fruiting structure. Here's another one. This one's growing in a slightly better condition, so the leaves are a little bit bigger, and the seeds are much, you know, much more going on here. It's a pretty impressive plant, I think. 
you can find them growing around grasses and those sorts of things, but the way they can grow just out of basically nothing, pretty cool. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.